In this episode, we're going to talk about antiques, used furniture, Facebook Marketplace, and other aspects of basically the used furniture industry and what the risk is with bed bugs. Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today's episode, we're going to talk about a pain point for me, which is uh, antiques, used furniture. Um, so obviously, you know, as you know, social media continues to grow and different, you know, aspects to it, you know, exist. There's Facebook Marketplace. There's all these different, you know, ways that you can buy used furniture, antiques. And, you know, what is the impact to bedbugs? Um, and why I say this is a pain point for me is, you know, I, I'm living this, you know, I'm living the, the, the changing world that we're in right now, which is that, you know, I've got a, a, a lovely wife at home that um, is into the whole fixer upper, you know, antique type vibe right now. And uh, I find myself, which I never did before, in the occasional antique shop. And, um, you know, my perception of antiques prior to starting to go to some of these places is that, you know, I just kind of thought they were fancy older furniture that you could go in and buy. And what I realized is that there's a lot of these antique stores that you walk into that are quite honestly just junk collection stores. Um, it's literally piles of just stuff that is probably not been inspected in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it's just sitting there to be sold. And, um, you know, I walk into these these antique stores now, many of them, now not to say all of them, some of them are very nice inside, but some of them are literally just like junk collection places. And I walk in and all I can think of, all I can see, all I fear is being that family. That guy that goes into an antique store and buys something and brings bed bugs home. And so I want to use this video as a reminder to those out there. A lot of people, you know, think hotels are one of the biggest ways to get bed bugs because all the media attention to them. And I'm here to tell you that that is not the case in my opinion. Hotels have issues. You know, you can get bed bugs from a hotel room, but when you look at the statistics, it's actually quite rare. Used furniture, on the other hand, is, I think, the most common way people bring bed bugs into their house. Whether it's a discarded piece of furniture on the side of the street and somebody drives by and says, hey, I don't have that in my house, I need that, and they pick it up and take it home. Or they go to an antique store and they buy, you know, something that has bed bugs on it, God forbid, and brings it home. But when that happens, you're often bringing in lots of bed bugs to your house. Because if an infested piece of furniture is, in fact, infested, it probably has lots of bed bugs on it or in it. And so... This is a cautionary tale to those out there that are shopping in all these different forums, regardless of the forum, and regardless of how the piece of furniture is positioned. If it's not new, it's used, whether it's called an antique or whatever it's called. And again, I'm not here to tell you not to do these things in any way, shape, or form. I'm just telling you to be careful. Go out there. If you're going to buy something, do an inspection. Make sure you know what bed bugs look like. Make sure you know what the signs of bed bugs are. Know that usually it's a buyer beware industry where if you buy something and it has bed bugs, the people who sold it to you are not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. And now it's not to say it's all entities, but a lot of entities are like that. And so be careful. If you're shopping and you're working in the antique industry, you need to know what bed bugs look like. You need to know what evidence looks like. Because if you do it enough, you're probably going to eventually encounter bed bugs somewhere along the way. Now, I will tell you that, you know, when my wife, as I said, I'm living this world right now, goes in and is looking at, let's say, a piece of upholstered furniture, I am much more cautious about that. Where, you know, we go in, we see a lamp, and it's something that, you know, is neat and old and this, that, and the other. I'm not really that worried about a lamp. Am I still going to do an inspection? Sure. But it's not something that has a huge caution to me. But if we go in, you know, there's a little club chair that's very neat and unique and old and, and this, that, and the other. That's something I'm going to be much more cautious about. Because we know that is a sitting or resting piece of furniture where people spend lots of time. And if, God forbid, they have bed bugs, it's typically going to be upholstered furniture. Uh, mattresses, you know, box springs, bed frames, headboards, couches, club chairs. Those are all high risk furniture to me. And so if you're in that industry and you're buying pieces of furniture like that, you need to know what bed bugs look like. You need to know what the evidence of bed bugs is. Um, so yeah, so I, you know, I just wanted to use this video as a reminder, you know, 
be aware out there if you're if you're in the antique industry. Obviously, you know, with all these different, you know, HGTV and, you know, flip flip or flop type shows and, you know, all these different, you know, stuff like that where people are bringing in, you know, unique and antique furniture. It's something you need to be aware of. Uh, if you have any questions on this topic, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.